Hey everyone, welcome to another mindful movement. My name is Kathleen and I am a certified nutrition specialist, a health coach, a yoga teacher, and a theta healer. And the goal of mindful movement is pretty literal to help you practice mindfulness, relax, calm down the body, and get some gentle movement in to start your day. In my personal life, I have been starting my day by pulling just one tarot card from the Good Karma Tarot deck and reading about that card and using the lessons um, of the card to kind of guide me through my day. And so I thought it would be fun to start off today's practice by sharing a little bit about the card that I pulled for today. Hopefully it resonates with you. Ooh, I'm about to sneeze. Excuse me. And that you can pull some meaning from it as well. So before I get you all comfy, I wanted to show you the card I pulled today is the Ace of Swords. And I'll read you the description of the traditional card. It says, traditionally, the Ace of Swords shows a hand emerging from a cloud, holding a sword, symbolizing intellect. At the end of the sword is a crown and a wreath, symbolizing victory. The mountains in the background suggest that the road ahead will require courage and resilience, but that is where you must now head. So before I read to you the meaning of this card, I'd love for you to find um, a comfy spot on your mat and lay down in Shavasana. Your feet can cause the width of the front of your mat. Your arms can rest by your side, or your left hand can come to your heart, and your right hand can come to your belly. Your eyes can close, or your gaze can just be soft. The goal is to minimize any distractions. Clearly, so I'm trying to find a comfy spot, but I don't just undo my legs crossed. Um, and then just start to find your breath. Breathing in through your nose, breathing out through your mouth. And once you feel like you're in this moment, you minimize distractions. You can just be and receive the message of this card. You can rest. I'm going to start sharing. So ACE means new beginnings, and this card indicates a truth insight or conflict will lead to a revelation with life-changing potential. Swords are sharp, they cut to the heart of the matter, and always for the better in the long run, because nothing strong can be built upon lies. The Ace of Swords can signify that challenges lie ahead, but then nothing worthwhile is gained easily. Your mind might feel like it's running at 100 miles per hour. You may have restless nights, you're wrestling with something. Keep at it because a new insight or angle on a situation is going to emerge. When it does, lean into it. Don't suppress, avoid, or hide what you now know. Deal with it, even if that means a tricky dialogue or a tough decision. Know and believe that it's all for the best. The universe is bringing you illumination. Use it to light up a new path or exit an old one. Find and speak the truth. Do the right thing for the right reasons. Your insight can change everything. Truth is powerful and it prevails. So I know for me personally, uh, I am going through a little bit of a challenge and am kind of looking for that insight um, or that next step. And so I feel very comforted by this card, knowing that um, it will reveal itself to me and that I will be able to deal with it and move forward. So that's how this card is resonating with me, but maybe there's just a word or a phrase or two that resonated with you. Maybe if you're not currently going through a challenge, um, but you have been wanting to speak your truth. Or maybe there is something that you've been wanting to do or you've been looking for the next step or a 
sign that you're on the right path. Um, or maybe you've been looking for answers for something. And so this card is symbolizing that your answers are coming. So for a general uh, intention for today, I'd like you to take a moment to connect to your third eye, your intuition, and commit to speaking your truth, connect to your throat chakra, commit to sharing how you feel, using your intuition and your voice to guide you. And then as you're ready to wake up the body a little bit, you can wiggle your fingers, you can wiggle your toes, you can roll your wrists, you can roll your ankles, you can move your head from side to side, left to right. You can take a big good morning stretch with your arms up overhead, point your toes, let your low back come up off the mat. And then hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. You may rock from side to side. Giving your low back a massage. When you're ready, keep your right knee hugged in. Send your left leg long. Take a few hip circles, rotating the right leg clockwise. In counterclockwise. Once the leg feels open, supine twist, tee out the arms, gaze over your right fingertips. Two breaths here, keep both your shoulders grounded down on the mat. On your next inhale, bring your right hand over to the left to roll onto your belly for half frog. You can come onto your forearms. You can rest your forehead on your hands. Or you can rest on your left cheek. You can adjust your knee to be closer towards your armpit or lower down towards the wall behind you. Once you've found your comfy position to rest, On your next inhale, bring your left hand over to your right and roll back onto your back. You might keep a little twist for a moment and then hug both of your knees back into your chest. Give yourself a hug. Reset. And then this time, bring your left knee into your chest. Right leg will go long. You can take those same hip circles, rotating the left leg. Switch it out the opposite direction that you were going. And then as you're ready, supine twist. And then your left leg across the right leg. Tee out the arms. Gaze over your left shoulder your left fingertips. Keep both your shoulders grounded down on the mat. It doesn't matter if your left knee touches the ground. Two breaths. On your next inhale, bring your left hand over to your right to help roll onto your belly for half frog. Keep the left knee bent. Again, you can come onto your forearms. You can rest your head on your hand. You can rest on your right cheek. Adjust your knee as you wish. And once you're comfy, you to rub. You had your arms um, under your head, tee them out again, and then bring your right hand over to your left to roll onto your back. 
You can stay in this twist for a moment. And then hug the knees back into your chest. Reset here. Happy baby. Grab the outside edges of your feet. Bring your elbows to the inside of your knees. You may continue to massage your low back. Rock from side to side. You might straighten out your right leg. And then bring it back in. You may straighten out your left leg. And bring it back in. And then send your legs up a wall. Stay up the bottoms of your feet onto the ceiling. Allow your blood flow to go in the opposite direction. Find your breath again if you lost it, breathing in through your nose. As you're ready, plant your feet down on the mat. Keep a bend in your knees. Setting up for bridge pose, bring your heels closer to your glutes, your fingertips towards your heels. Press through your shoulders, send your hips to the sky. You may interlace your fingertips behind your low back. Untuck the chin by sending your gaze to the ceiling. One breath here. Ooh, on your exhale, return the hips back down onto the mat. Windshield wiper your knees from side to side. Exhale. And then as you're ready, send your legs out long onto your mat. I took um, my the yoga teacher's class this week, Devin, and um, she did a reclined tree pose, and I thought that it felt really nice. And so since we started off with our half frog hip opener, I thought that it would be lovely to add in this reclined tree pose. So bring the sole of your right foot, you can bring it up to your thigh or to your calf, whichever feels more comfortable. And then allow your right hip to open. It might feel a little funky on the ground, feel different from a tree pose when you're standing. And then activate your left leg by pointing your left toes to the ceiling to mimic what it would feel like if you were actually standing. We're here for two breaths. Nice. When you're ready, close this leg like a book, plant it on the mat, and then just take a one-legged windshield wiper. I think that feels nice. And then as you're ready, send the right leg long, plant your left foot down onto the mat, and then bring it to the inside of your right thigh or right calf or refined tree pose. Allow your hip to open up. Engage your right leg by sending your right toes to the ceiling. Two rounds of breath. Nice. Now plant that left foot down onto the mat and windshield wiper your knee. So getting the hips nice and open for today. Once you feel good in that hip, hug your knees into your chest and rock up to a tabletop pose. Bring your wrists underneath your shoulders, your knees under your hips. Send the crown of your head to the mirror. Bring your big toes to touch. Send your hips down and back for a child's pose. Forehead can rest on the mat. Arms can be out long in front of you. I feel like this pose feels so good after a few hip openers. 
One more breath here. And then as you're ready, come back to that neutral tabletop. And we're just gonna finish this morning taking a few rounds of cat cows. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, dome through the spine. Inhale, send the crown of your head to the ceiling. Exhale, press the mat away from you. Add in whatever variations your body needs to wake up this morning. Perhaps that's some wrist stretches, making some movements with your hips. Maybe you want to take some toe stretches, tucking your toes and sending your hips back. Maybe you want to release tension this morning, coming out the tops of your feet. Ooh. Take one or two more poses that your body needs in this cat cow. And then as you're ready, come back to an easy seat. You can be facing um, forwards, if that is easier for you, I just wanted to face you all. So adjust it a bit. Thank you for joining this mindful movement. You can place your hands on your knees. You can close your eyes once more. Find your breath again, breathing in through your nose. Thank you so much for joining, watching this video. It is my honor to guide you through this flow. I hope that you take the message of the day to listen to your truth and speak your truth. You deserve to be heard and you deserve to be seen. We bow and say namaste. Thanks everyone. Um, again, I'm Kathleen. I am here uh, doing the Mindful Movement live for the Yoga Lifestyle community on Thursdays at 7.30 a.m. Um, I am also doing a Ask a Nutritionist session at 8.30 a.m. on Thursday mornings. So if you watch one of my weekly videos in the nutrition session and have any questions about them, um, that's the time to ask. So thank you for joining. Look forward to seeing you next week.